guys, Cal with Pokemon Bushcraft, and uh, I've had a request to do a video on the uh, landscape puck and sharpening a cuckoo with it and sharpening uh, an axe. It's just a hatch in this case. Alright. Cold steel, kukri. Let's say you've been chopping all day, you come back. Actually, this one was pretty. Excuse you, Sharpen. Uh, let's say you're out chopping all day, whatever. Um, you come back. Uh, you know you're going to use it tomorrow, sometime soon. And you're just saying, I don't want to leave this doll. I'm just going to get this out of the way. I'm going to sharpen this. So, um, you can try flat stone. I've tried. It r doesn't really work. So, this is called the Lansky Puck. Right there. Lansky Puck. It's a uh, universal sharpening uh, disc. It's got a coarse side on this side. You can see it's got two tones right there. Coarse, fine. Uh, fits in the palm of your hand. You can use this from sharpening the blades on your lawnmower to sharpening your kukri to even a fixed blade like the Mora. You can do this one, give it a great edge, like a paper cutting edge, like the other stuff I use. But, I mean, if, if you need a knife sharp, you need a knife sharp. So, what I do for this is I'll. Uh, there we go. I'll brace it like this against my chest. As you can see here, it actually changes angle right here. What I'll do is I'll push, I'll put that flat up against it. Like that, and, and I'll either go in small circles or I'll go up and down for this part. And then up here on the thick part of the blade, what you want to do is you can take the flat part of this and you can just Switch it over, and what you can also do is, if you got a piece of leather, you can put it there. But I'm not ruining this jacket. It's a great jacket. So you keep going. You know how do feel it sharper? And uh, what you can also use is file in your multi-tool. Pop it out, use that. I actually completely uh, redid the edge on this uh, hatch that I was given. Nice hatchet. I'll do a review on it or something later. See how it works. I'm using it. Anyways, back to the kukri. You can take your multi tool. Use that. That would work better for uh, this part here. What I like to do is like take the uh, part of my belt right here. Just put it right there. If I don't have a uh, Piece of uh, piece of leather. Feeling pretty good. Still do some sharpening. I'll finish this up and get back to you. All right, guys. That's uh, my video on sharpening. This might not be the best. Might not be the right way. I was requested to do it. That's how I do it. Um, I'd like to thank my subscribers. I haven't noticed in any other videos, but I'd like to thank you guys. Uh, you know, when I first started this, I was thinking I'll just do one or two videos and leave it. But I got a bunch of subscribers, a bunch of requests, and uh, that's where I am today. So I'm um, just thanking you guys for what you've done. And uh, so that's my video on sharpening the kukri. It's uh, you know not not. I use it here, but it's 
pretty good. I mean, if you really want to get like, n like nitpicky with this, you keep going. But you know, it's a machete, it's a chopper. You don't need, uh, you know, you're not gonna shave with this thing. I hope. I mean, a lot, but. Bevel like that, and you just small circles. And you switch sides. So that's pretty much how you use it. And you can pick these up at a number of places, they're about five bucks. Uh they got a smooth side and a rough side. You can use these for a lot of things. So that's my video, thanks for watching.